Adobe Photoshop CC 14.2 has one brand new feature called Perspective Warp. I'm going to open a photo inside Adobe Photoshop and see how it works. Okay, I right click this photo and open with Photoshop. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, this is trial mode. I'm going to continue trial. Just click here. So I move here back to the screen. This picture I took by my smartphone. At the middle, you can see the building looks okay, but both sides of the buildings is big distortion. They're sensing like a other wide angle lens. They have the same problem. Now I'm going to repair the problem using a new feature called Perspective Warp. Before I do that, I would like to duplicate this picture and we can compare later before and after. Now I'm going to copy one more layer, just start down to here, okay? And then go to Add Perspective Warp. Just click. Now I'm going to lay out. I'm going to lay out from here all the way down to make a plane. Let's lay out like a plane to here. Okay. And then move that side down a little bit to here. That's cool. I'm going to make a lot of plane from here all the way down to Maybe down to here and this one move out a little bit right here. Okay. And that one is down here. Okay. Now I'm going to change the layout to wrap. Okay. Okay, good. And use the keyboard shortcut control minus zoom in a little bit. Okay, good. And then I this move here and make this building straight okay and uh, move on this one just like that uh, move up here a little bit maybe something like that okay now it looks great I just click here it's okay looks great Control zero, free to the screen. Close one eyeball and see before like that. Now it's no more wide angle lens distortion. I think photos are doing a great job. A lot of before, after is great. Okay. Now I'm going to close this picture. It's not going to sell. And show you another one. Okay. I mean, not this one. I draw this photo to Photoshop. This is National Press Building in Washington, D.C. This building is looks good. I think it's nothing to do about this building, but this time I'm going to show you it's a different way, not the distortion, you know. I show you is different angle of camera view use this feature. I'm going to duplicate the picture okay, and then go to add perspective warp and lay out this building from here all the way down to here. Just go to here as front building, not the back, okay? And I'm going to make the other plane is from here. Another plane from click here. And all the way down to here. And move together. You see that the line is becoming yellow. That is the automatic snap together. Both plane. Okay. I draw down that side a little bit. It's something like that. This side a little bit like that. Okay. Now. From the layout, change to web. I click web. So now we can use right here, we can move it. See? It's like a water. It's really smooth, whatever you want. 
can do here and here but I'm not going to do like that is I'm going to reset this and then I fold on the shift key and click here this line is becoming yellow that means when I do in the top the all that is button is also smooth now I'm going to change the camera angle view on that side see this move or well, I can do to that side see I think this is okay and move down a little bit or, or up or down just like that okay if you like just press here and getting down see or change right now we can close that eyeball before it's like that after it's like that I think this is good before I leave, I would like to mention you one thing bear in your mind. The computer graphic card ran less than 256 megabytes. That future won't work. I'm going to show you a screenshot. Computer graphic card ran less than 256 megabytes. Okay, here it is. Okay, this computer, this graphic card is less than 256 megabytes. You can see the perspective warp is thin out. And other features like a content wheel and paper warp, free transform and transform and all is working except that this future is not working. Okay, I hope you like this future and see you next time. Bye bye.